two, three, fuck it. I don't know if I'm like the only hijabi that's won, so like, sorry if I'm not. Hi guys, my name is Madam President, um, and I won a state title during this whole quarantine pandemic thing. So I am currently Miss California for the American Code pageants. Whoops. Yay, fun. This is what my sash looks like. It's Miss California and my division, the junior team division. And they gave me a little crown too, which is really nice of them. Um, Wow, it's really pretty. Um, yeah, so this is my photo shoot get ready with me video because I plan on releasing a full press release hopefully by the end of this weekend. It's currently Friday, so I plan on taking the photos today, maybe sending out the flyers by tonight, and then I have all of my sponsorship packages typed up. I just need to attach my photo with that, and then those can be sent out by Saturday, hopefully. So we're gonna get ready for my shoot. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about the pageant, how I found out about it, like what's going on, why I just randomly decided to do a pageant in the middle of a pandemic. Um, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy these types of videos and you want to continue to see how I'm preparing for this pageant, make sure to subscribe. I will definitely be updating this channel a lot and showing you guys like what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Make sure to like this, um, give a big thumbs up and yeah. So yeah, I just moisturized my face. Now I'm going in with the airspun um, powder and I just like to set my face and then I put on some setting spray and then I start with my primer and foundation. I find that this helps it like really lock in all of my foundation without it like moving around because it's really hot. I'm currently in California and it is so hot outside and we're taking like photos in the heat so it's going to be fun. Um, okay, so I found out about this competition in... I want to say mid-April and I there was like an application process for it and so I filled out like this is basically so I should talk about like how I got into the pageant or whatever so I'm also gonna be talking about like how I got into the pageant and so um, basically what happened was in mid-April I found like the whole pageant system I found the American Code pageants and for some reason I thought the pageant already happened so I was preparing for next year and I contacted the director and I was like hey um, I'm interested in your pageant, like what do I need to do? And she responded and she was like, thank you so much for your interest and you just need to fill out this application. And then they also asked for a video because we couldn't have like actual pageant auditions and stuff like that. Like they couldn't meet up with me because of the coronavirus. And so they asked me to send like a three minute video just like showcasing what I do and like why I want to compete. And so I did all of that and then um, I got like a letter saying, I got an email actually saying Congratulations, you won the title of Miss California. And I got my sash and my crown. And now I need money. So the thing about pageants that people don't know or like don't realize is that they cost money to enter. So like on top of your dresses, your makeup, your shoes, your jewelry, to get to the pageant, airfare, lodging, you have to pay to just like compete in general. So like that's fun. And I will definitely be needing your guys' support on this. So um, please go check out my fundraiser down below. I will have a GoFundMe linked. If you can't donate, I completely understand, but please feel free to share the link with others. On my social medias, I will be linking those down below as well. Um, especially my Facebook, I will have a full flyer up there. So if you guys could just repost that, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you. That would mean a lot to me. So yeah, thank you guys. Okay, now I did that, I did that. Now we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, Con not concealer, foundation in the shade sand. Okay, now I should talk about why. I'm gonna talk about why I actually like started competing in the first place. Um, I did get this color matched like two years ago, so it's possible this is not my color anymore, but we'll see. Cause like two years ago I was playing softball in the sun and now I'm just chilling at home. So this is probably like a shade or two darker than my normal skin. We'll find out, it's fine. We'll figure it out together. I didn't put on primer. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on my T-zone and any oily areas just because it really helps with that stuff and I don't like putting it on um, any dry areas. I don't know why I just don't do it. I started competing because um, if you're a Muslim, you know there are like barely any hijabis in pageantry. Um, Halima Adin, 
I remember watching her and I'm like, yo, that's so cool that like she's doing that. Um, I'm gonna put primer on top of that and pretend everything's okay. Um, so yeah, I noticed that like, I've watched so many pageant vlogs and I've noticed that there are literally only one, or maybe two max um, hijabis at each event or each like pageant for state pageants. And I just feel like there should be more representation. Like Muslim women need to like, not necessarily put themselves out there, but like try new things, I feel like. So I decided to take one for the team and now I'm representing California. And I don't think it's hit me yet that like I'm representing a state. Like right now, I just feel like I'm gonna go and compete. I don't think that like, wow, oh my God, I'm representing California. It's gonna hit me like right before I go on stage. Just watch, I'm gonna like freak out before I go on. Like, oh my God, I'm representing California. But right now I don't feel anything. Like I'm not nervous. Um, I'm going so other people can have the courage to go as well. This should be interesting. If you guys know of any like coaches, please let me know. Cause like I am going to need some help. This is my first time competing. Kind of nerve wracking, just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna explain like how the pageant works basically. So on October 8th, we're gonna fly out to Florida. I'm not exactly sure where in Florida. I have it written down, but um, so the day we get there, it's gonna be a Thursday, hopefully, inshallah. And um, that day's orientation. So I don't know if you guys know, but Danny Walker, she's also like really big in the pageant community. And she has like a YouTube channel, go check her out. She's amazing. I love watching her videos. And she also is gonna be our orientation host. So she's gonna like introduce the pageant and she's gonna be a guest speaker there. So that's really cool. I'm gonna meet Danny Walker. Like, it's really cool. Like when you see someone online then like you meet them in person it's really fun to meet them so yeah so thursday is going to be orientation we're going to have like a queen's dinner and like movie and stuff and we're going to exchange gifts around with each other i still don't know what i'm getting them um so if you have any like pageant gift ideas let me know because i was thinking okay wait i don't know if i can say it okay i'll give you like a few ideas so i'm not saying like what i'm doing but i'll give you a few ideas so one was like a pin, I'd get like a California state pin or whatever and like I'd give it out to them to show them like, hey, I'm from California, woohoo, go me. Um, the other idea I had was um, to get them like a bunch of gift cards, but like it's gonna be expensive. Um, someone else said to like draw them and I'm like, I am not artistic, so I can't do that. I was watching another pageant vlog, that's all I do in my free time, if you can't tell, I just watch pageant vlogs. And this one, I remember it was like the Miss USA competition, I think. And one of the girls actually like had soaps made like for each contestant and it had like their face on it. And I was like, that's actually really cool. I can't afford that, but like, that's still really cool. Okay, foundation, not done. Now we're gonna go in with the Too Faced concealer in the shade Golden. I almost dropped it. Good catch, Vita. But yeah, so I'm excited. This is like, I'm not a pageant girl, I'm more like a, I don't know, I'm not really an athlete, I'm not a nerd either, like, I'm in the middle of all of this, like, I'm not a full athlete, tomboy, I'm not a girly girl, but I'm not like a nerd, so like, I'm in the middle of the three social classifications, I guess you'd say. <laughs> update i did my eyeliner and it looked really bad like i looked like a scarecrow and then i just took it off right now and now i'm doing my makeup all over again fun okay wait i already did my eyes what do i need to do i need a contour my face does not have any structure to it i need a new contour stick okay so i've been using the smashbox one for the longest time but i'm at <laughs> home girls kind of running out so if you have i don't know how to contour um, if you have any recommendations for like what I should, I love how even that is, um, any recommendations for like what contour stick I should get, I should get next, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm gonna get roasted in the comment section for how I do my makeup, but it's fine, you gotta screw the haters, you know? Do you. <laughs> okay, but like to be honest, I look really bad, so I give you permission to roast me. Go ahead, do your worst. Nose jokes, um, let's not attack my religion in this comment section, but like anything facial, go for it. You have my full permission to annihilate me in the comment section. Okay, my face, 
Okay, it's kind of it's kind of coming together just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm done with highlighting. Looking like a highlighter since 05. Just kidding. I wish. I wish my skin was like naturally highlighted. That would be so cool. Like at birth, you get to choose like if you want to have a contoured snatched face or like a highlighted face. I choose highlighted to be honest. Okay, this is what I look like. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even put on blush. Hello? So I've yet to find like a good blush that matches my skin tone and like blends perfectly without sparkle. Like I tried the Milani one. Um, it's the Milani uh, Dulce Pink. Um, and I was not a fan because it's like very sparkly. It, to be fair, that's like my fault for picking up a sparkly one. But, but yeah, like the pigmentation is fine on it. I just don't like the sparkles in it. So what I like to do is I basically just take like any old brush and I go into my SFX wheel. So back when I was in theater, we had to like do a bunch of SFX projects and I fell in love with like special effects makeup. And so I bought one of the color wheels so I could like do it at home, like make fake bruises, stuff like that. And so I just take the red and I literally just put three, I smile and then I put like three dots on each cheek. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then I put like two on my nose. That was like four, whatever, you get the point. So that's what I do there. And then I just blend it all out. Okay, now I look like an anime girl cause I have blush on my nose. Yay. tiniest drop of foundation on my nose so it's not as bad okay there we go see it's not as bad this is the ellen tracy thing lip liner in this color align my lips okay i'm gonna do this off camera okay now i'm in a dilemma i don't know if i like this lip look or if i want to take the color wheel that I showed you guys and just take one of its reds and like use that instead. I actually kind of like this. So either this right, it's going to be way darker. Um, actually, I think I'm going to stick with this. Okay, y'all, we're going to go take, I'm going to go change and now we're going to go take photos. How do I do that without like smearing their lipstick? Okay, this sounds so conceited and I hate that I thought this but I was thinking it'd be so funny like if hypothetically I won like the national title I'm like are you sure like you got the right person like I act confused instead of everyone else but like oh my god wow I won I'll be like are you sure is this a mistake and then you can turn me into a meme you're welcome I took one for the team okay this is the final fit I'm gonna turn on the light wow I look great moving on um I'm gonna go outside take photos I have like three minutes to do all of this because I have a meeting that I forgot about on one person already using the brand new system.